Hi. Hi, Miss Kelly. How y'all doing? Um, yeah, I guess I decided to go live because I haven't been live in a while. And yeah, why not do some singing stuff? Um, I did some really cool stuff last night uh, with uh, Delaney McCarthy, who is a singer, vocal coach, vocal arranger, um, super talented guy. And he does a lot of those chromatic... Oh! Hold on. The audio is not working for one of them. All right, tell me if this is better. Tell me if you can hear me now. Tell me if you can hear me now on Facebook. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Girl, I've been waiting for you to do another live stream. <laughs> yeah, and then I got really busy. Um, you still can't hear me? Okay, let me try to figure out this Facebook one. It's definitely showing. You still can't hear me on Facebook? I guess they still can't. Oh, you only seen half of me because I'm all the way over here. Sorry. <laughs> No sound. Okay. All right. I'll come back. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we'll just deal with this for now. And uh, let's see. <laughs> All right. So if you guys have any questions, oh, so that's what I was saying. He does like Kim Burrell type runs and um, yeah, it was really cool because I don't do those types of runs. So like chromatic weird stuff that sounds really cool. I'm calling it weird because it's weird to me in my ear, but it's actually really cool. So we did a really cool um, Facebook live about that last night. It's only on Facebook. It was kind of like a um, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Spontaneous. Thoughts on Kenny Lattimore? Mm -hmm. He's good. I don't really have thoughts. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Teresa. So, you guys, yeah, I don't know how you invite people on YouTube, but invite people to watch this. Um, yeah, add me on Facebook. Facebook is kind of my default social media. Everything else I have to, you know, I'm forcing myself to get on. But, you know, I try to come on these other ones. For sure. All right. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm still doing my vegan-ish diet. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. Vegan-ish. Not really vegan at all. It's like mostly plant-based. Cutting out mostly rice and bread and stuff like that. Eating very little grains. Very little meat. Mostly plants. So. And I feel fantastic. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear boy with a glass heart. Happy birthday to you have this thing right here you almost threw it home <laughs> you're welcome
give up. How old are you now? That's so sweet, you're 24. I remember being 24. So young and full of life. And your birthday falls on Memorial Weekend? How cool is that? I'm gonna take some time this weekend and do all my vocal analyses. So if you did a gospel a vocal analysis to me in the last 22 weeks, I'm sorry, not 20, in the last couple of weeks, I have been very behind on them, but I am getting to them. Oh, all the way from Korea, awesome. So I'm sorry, bear with me. I do get every email, I have seen them, and I just have to take the time to go through them. The thing is my brain computes what needs to be said, but then I actually have to put it in understandable language and sequence, and that's where I just go, Ugh. Oh, this is taking up a lot of time. Yes, email me to Lisa at Gmail. Email the uh, the video for your vocal evaluation there. Uh, sometimes your birthday's on Memorial Day. That's very cool. My birthday is July 4th, so it's always July 4th. It means it's always a day off no matter what. So that seems really cool, and you probably experience the same thing since you have a Memorial Birthday weekend. It's kind of hard to get people together to join your party when everybody's having their own party. So that's kind of what I've experienced every single year of my life like a lot of years I end up in tears because it's like I don't want to look at fireworks why do we have to do that it's my birthday so <laughs> I think that's great that your um, vocal coach has a master's and a bachelor's in vocal performance Heck yeah but you know, that, that's great. They can give you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, you either have, have to have enough musicality. Hi, Mike. Uh, you have to either have enough musicality to know how to turn that into what you want it to be, or they have to be able to guide you on how to get where you want to be with that. Does that make sense? So they teach you how to sing open and all that kind of stuff, and how does that apply to the music you want to sing? They either have to know how to do that and teach you, or you have to have enough self-awareness, critical thinking, musicality, to get there on your own. Hi, Yon. Am I gonna sing something? Sing something like what? I don't mind. Hi, Avery. Everybody's doing what they want to do. It's like, what about me? Or better yet, when you go, well, July 4th is my birthday. Okay, girl, we'll go ahead and get a cake. 
So nobody's like really planning for your birthday. They just happen to already be cooking out. And then it's like, we'll get you a cake, girl. Get the least a cake right quick. Who said I like cake? No, this is not falsetto. It's head voice. Who is my male Whitney? You know, I've heard something on YouTube where um, they brought Whitney's voice down and it sounded like Peebo Bryson. So I would have to say Peebo Bryson is, is the male Whitney. <laughs> Crashed every party. <laughs> I have no choice, do I? <laughs> Somebody said that I should sing something classical. I do consider Brian McKnight's tone beautiful. There's something, I, I can't remember what song it was, but it was like a big ballad and they just brought it down several keys and I promise it didn't sound like, it, it didn't, the funny thing is Whitney's voice, in my opinion, it was so perfect. You know anyone else's voice, it would just sound distorted and weird, but it didn't sound distorted and weird. It sounded like Peebo Bryson. Uh, really quickly, we were talking today uh, to one of my clients about singing in the E space. Brian McNally. Brian McNally is my vocal father. He's really good. He's really good. And he has super fast runs. A tip to discover your head voice? Oh, I'm so far removed from discovering the head voice. Uh, let's see. How to discover your head voice? That's what most people do. That's what singers do. I'll say that to discover their head voice. You can't do that in chess, right? You can't do that if you're holding anything. So, that's a good way. Sorry, that's like probably step two. I don't even know what step one is. People say, put your hand up here and go, ah, ah, but I mean, that's elementary. Let's see, something classical. I love Peebo Bryson. His voice is gorgeous. Sorry, there were no instructions on my website, Court. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see, that's funny. My, um, let me see. So something classical, really? I have to warm up for that. Let me see. Uh, it's probably not going to be that good. It's probably not going to be that good. Let's see. Tamia. You guys are going way above my pay grade today. Hi, the singing beautician. Hi, Benny. I have to, like, practice for a couple days before my classical is, like, presentable. Because <sighs> I don't want to be shame. Lies are free. Lies are free. In Durch die Nacht, die Nacht zu dir. In den I don't know. I forgot the words.
I haven't sung that song since 2010. Thank you. Um, I teach Italian songs. <laughs> oh, <my>. God. <laughs> Brava. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, okay. All right. Somebody asked a question. I'm going to start answering questions now. Hold on. Why do some vocal coaches teachers? I actually teach Italian songs for people that have no interest in classical singing at all. Um, how, can, how do you continue to breathe longer than expected? I think Italian songs teach a lot of things. Um, like, uh, you know, the first Italian song everyone learns is, That sucks. Whatever. So I ran out of air, so I kind of played it off by saying whatever. So um, the reason why is because you're learning how to use your diaphragm. It's great diaphragmatic technique that you're learning. It's great forward placement. Um, you're learning how to sing um, open vowels, pure vowels. So all that's what all that is good for. Um, yeah, so that's why you learn Italian songs. It teaches you technique. Instead of doing exercises all day, you actually, the they are like a direct um reinforcement of the exercises oh that's terrible if you were singing that with basically as a pop singer so what are some things that i focus on that make uh that are different from classical and pop okay One is openness, right? Doesn't get much more open than that. Doesn't get more full than that. Doesn't get richer than that. Uh, vibrato doesn't get freer than that. So that's what you're focused on. It's total freedom of the tone. Um, whereas you're pulling back from that when you're focusing on pretty much anything other than R&B. I mean, sorry, anything other than classical singing. And that's the issue with learning German and stuff like that because I basically only sing pop. The issue is when I go back to classical, my my muscle memory, I'm I'm used to tensing to a certain point. Whereas, you know, even though it sounds really free to an R and B singer or whatever, obviously to a classical singer, they can tell that there is some tension there in order to create the sound. So when you're singing something where like Italian, sorry, like German, where there's a, it's very consonant driven and those consonants give, make you want to, um, you can easily tense up. But your job is to stay open even through all those. Okay. So definitely you're creating a more shallow vowel. Italian songs are really the way to go. I have a student who I've been working with for off and on for about two years. Her voice has grown so much. Because to me, she kind of has like a, almost like a character voice. It's, it's, it's a very bright soprano voice. So she does her highs very well. But the problem is, it can become a little bit like this. You know, just kind of very forward. Um... And then when she sings, it's kind of one dimensional. It's not really warm. So my job was to create warmth. Even though her voice is bright, it's always going to be bright. You can create warmth, but that can then, which can then create more versatility. So, um, yeah, I love this thing. You know, it's really cool. I'm not really sure why I said that. I knew I was going somewhere with that, but I forgot. I should do a, a live chat with O'Neal. Uh, 
It was tragic. I wish she let me do it in a hierarchy. That's so funny. Yeah, my first year, they had me doing everything in mezzo-soprano. And then after that, it was, you know, they bumped me up. You felt that one's ready for some hair now. Let's see. I would love to do a, a live chat with O'Neal. If he's ever on here. If he's ever on here, why not? Let's see. My vocal coach... Oh, let me see something. Um, my hold on. Effective exercises to improve runs and how to improve tone. Um, let's see. I I have thought for at least the last five years that maybe I should come up with some exercises for runs because I've never really thought of runs as something as an exercise. Although I do have the understanding that it is note patterns that you hear over and over again. I've never thought to do it like. Um, That would just be like, is that really an exercise? I guess it is, but I never, I guess I never thought to to compartmentalize it that way. I've, and it's kind of something that's been milling in my brain for a while. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I've stopped. Is it being, is it being in my brain? Do my kids sing as well? My children can sing, all three of them can sing. There's only one that is super interested and not shy, and that's the baby. Keenan can sing, and it's kind of like, if you put him in a situation to sing, he's like, okay, fine. Kiara just refuses. She's the one that's gonna hide behind whoever's in the back and just try to be completely invisible until it's over. <laughs> My kids are hilarious, by the way. Um. So I said that to say, I think that everything, um, ev the, the way that I approach runs and stuff is that everything leads to you doing better runs. When you improve your placement, it improves the tone and then it improves the agility of your voice. And so you're going to find yourself doing little things like, ah, you know, ah. you, you're going to find yourself doing little trills like that just because you freed up your voice. But that that being said, I think it is cool to learn to kind of hear certain patterns over and over again. I actually, again, I've been going live with Kayla. I have two live videos with Kay. Um, we were singing some Miranda Curtis stuff. God Almighty, Lord of glory, holy worship you. We were doing stuff like that. And she was on it. Uh, God Almighty, God Almighty. Yeah, Kayla is a natural for sure. A natural. Let's see. Um, I have seen her break down riffs. I just don't think that, I guess, I, I've seen her break down the riffs. I've seen Natalie Weiss, and I think it's it says a lot that she would think that much about riffs, you know? Um, I guess. I mean, does it help? Does it help you walk away doing riffs fluidly though? You know what I'm saying? I think because the end game is 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 um, execution, right? So yes, the first step to execution is hearing it properly. So, um, and even once you hear it properly, now you're trying to execute it. So does it help? With, ex with independent execution or is it just a great ear training exercise? That's, that's like my only issue. Why are you laughing at me, A what is it, Adris91? What did I do? What did I say? What did I do? Let's see. How can you go higher without tensing? <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, thank you guys. Someone said, I love your philosophy and approach to the voice. It's very refreshing. Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't see the point in teaching runs in a mechanical way. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you about Aretha. Well, I'm not ignoring you. It's just something else catching my eye. Um, uh, I, like, who wants to be a mechanical singer? Eight, seven, six, five. Eight, seven, six, five. Ah, ah. It's kind of like, okay. What now? Now I just sound like a robot. You know? I think I think if you don't have finesse, then the execution is still not going to be what you want. So I'm not saying she's not a good start. You know what I'm saying? To teach you your ear. You know? But anyway. I thought it was cool though. I just never I never thought about it that way <laughs> oh you guys are always catching me in binds all right let's see i missed a whole bunch of stuff on youtube people are asking me questions explain in detail what makes Aretha not a good singer um, I, you know, Aretha's technique is interesting to me because I don't know what the heck that, what the heck she's doing, to be honest. It's like, I guess she's in, she would have to be belting, but it's the raspiest cat-like belt I've ever heard, if that makes sense. It's like, it's powerful and yet somehow sounds frail at the same time. It's like, ha! Hey! It's weird, right? To me. So it almost seems like she's letting too much air out, like from a technique standpoint. I wonder what her voice would sound like. Um, it almost just sounds to me like she's not closing her chords all the way. And she's just learned to overcompensate in some way and still be able to sing really dope. Um, but that's, from a technique standpoint, I would have loved to hear if she would have gotten with a teacher to help her close her chords while she's singing and just create a pure sound. I love Stephanie Mills. Thanks for changing the subject. <laughs> I, I, you're probably not even going to see my message. Let's see what you put. Uh, let's see. You guys are on here today. I appreciate this. Who is this? Aretha Franklin. I was talking about Aretha Franklin. My vocal coach helps me try to develop my head voice by having me sing downward scales in my head voice. Ah, helps me try to develop. Yes, it does help. It does help. That's a good method. If you start, because a lot of times if you're starting in your lower register, we, if you naturally just sing in your chest, you're going to go, ah, that's what you're going to do. But if you go, It's easier for you to sing downward if you start in your head voice and descend. So, yes. Good methodology. I want to learn Italian songs now. You should. And it takes the pressure off of you because you're not trying to learn what's on the radio when you're learning Italian songs. You're just learning. To me, it just felt like I was learning syllables. Uh, so, I liked it. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining. We're just chit chatting uh let's see uh did i answer that question what makes her a bad singer to me um i mean i think i kind of broke that down let's see she's ignore okay will you do a brandy run you are amazing and your voice is full of god can you explain why my falsetto is strong when hitting a note but why i can't sing a full song hi let's see will i do a brandy run okay like what? Huh. That's a brandy run. Um, okay. Uh, I, you're amazing and your voice is full of God. Thank you. To God be all the glory. Can you explain why my falsetto is strong when hitting a note? But falsetto is very... Hi, sexy. God bless you too, sir. Um... What? 
just happened. So, um, can you explain why my falsetto is strong when hitting a note, but why I can't sing a full song high? I think uh, you have to learn how to control your falsetto like it's a completely different voice. I've noticed that people that really focus on singing their falsetto have, they realize they have to train <laughs> their two different voices, you know, differently. <laughs> so, uh, almost doesn't count. Every time you build me up, you only let me down. So, let's see. What else is there? Your voice is just wow. Thank you. I feel like Aretha in her prime from marketing standpoint was the alternative to Barbara Streisand. Really? Wow. It's crazy how you can just go to Brandy and your register of voices like you have all those different people in there. <laughs> I have not seen Beyonce's Coachella performance. I have not. You're adorable. Off topic, but what made you decide to get dreads? Hi, Sabrina. Um, funny thing is, I had dreads. Uh, oh, I'm telling my age. <laughs> I had dreads. Uh, I started dreads when I was 18, and I had them for like four and a half years, and I combed them out actually. Um, right before I had Kiera, so. I had a little bit of a life change, fill in the blanks. And I was like, I'm going back to my dreads. So that's all. I never really liked doing my hair. I knew that, um, you know, you just kind of, you know, it's the typical black girl story, you know, had a relaxer when I was six and my hair always would get here and drop out. I never knew how to keep it moisturized and all of that. And then I was like, well, I'll just go natural. And then going natural, I was like, my hair's too thick, so. I'm not combing this and no one else is going to want to comb it. That was honestly my conclusion. I'm not combing it and no one else is going to want to. So I just got dreads. That was my first time having dreads. The second time was, I ain't trying to do all that, all this hair. So after being natural, having, you know, I, I, I combed out my dreads and my hair was this long and then I relaxed it and then it broke off again. And then it was just like a whole succession that led back to my original conclusion at the age of 18, which is you just need to have dreads and call it a day. <laughs> Why does my false ego sound breathy? That's hilarious. How can you work on breathing when singing? Isn't Barbara, Barbara is flawless. It's actually, I'm almost like envious of her when she sings. It's, it's, fl I, envy how easily this woman sings in a mixed belt like it's it's like there's no transition at all for her she's masterful if you watch her i mean in her 20s and 30s she was just like how is this woman doing this i wish I loved when you had Jalila James hair. Yeah, that was nice too. I liked that. I enjoyed that. What do I think about Chloe and Hallie? Um, I mean, they they sound the way they look. They sound like Beyonce's little sisters. That's what I think. Let me see. From Bahrain. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I loved it when you... Okay, so... I've heard you call Jasmine Sullivan. Is it because of her runs? Why do I call Jasmine Sullivan brilliant? I think her voice is brilliant. Um, I think her runs are the bomb. Um, I don't think she's the first. Yeah, I don't like Leona. 
<laughs> no, not really. I don't I don't like her voice until she does big belts. Like when you hear big belts, it's like, oh, that's her voice. But um, okay, back to Jasmine. J Jasmine has great placement. Jasmine has great breath support. Jasmine has an amazing range, and her range is far wider. Um, I don't hate Leona. I just think that her voice is hiding during a, a lot of her singing. Um, you guys, <laughs> I think her voice is hiding during a lot of her singing. So it's just, I just feel like I'm waiting for her voice to emerge a lot of the time while she's singing. And then it has that, <laughs> it's just, it's not fun. I do think she does really cool. I do think that Jasmine does really cool um, runs. She obviously studied Kimberell and all that. Um, I think she's great. I think I think she's inventive. Um, I think she has a great tone. I think she understands her voice. I think she thinks outside the box. She doesn't allow her her big tone to box her into what we think she should be doing. Everyone wants you to say their favorite is the bomb. I know. I know. The good thing is I'm only one person and my opinion doesn't matter that much. You know what I mean? How could Minnie Ripperton stay well connected in her head voice? I'm not really sure. Um, I think Jasmine's runs are a little bit more chromatic, I would say. I don't know. That's a good question. That's something that I've actually been wanting to, um, to explore for a while. Like I've been wanting to kind of get with a, a musician and study like, what is Brandy doing that Jasmine isn't doing? Because there's definitely a difference in the way that they um, approach, I guess, their modes or their scales or something like that. And I can't really tell. I can't um, at this time um, verbalize what that is. You work on, do I ever lose my runs? Um, yeah. Of course. Celine Dion is a bomb. She's like one of the best singers in the world. Hands down. Um... Even though you are like a vocal Bible, who is your favorite singer? I think everyone can answer that question. My favorite singer is actually Whitney Houston. How does Mariah transition so easily between chest and falsetto? Do you mean chest and all that? I mean, I know how she does it. I mean, I guess you're saying it sounds good. I don't really... Mm. I remember you starting off and saying you didn't know how to play the piano, but now you play the piano. How long did it take for you to play the piano? I still can't play the piano. I can, I've always been able to play, like, I've always been able to do scales, but like, okay, this is the extent of my playing, okay? Uh, you are here, healing every. I, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you. Like, 
that's what I can do. Play just block chords. <laughs> Thanks. Finish the song. This is so embarrassing. Uh, my singing makes up for what's not happening in the... <laughs> the singing is making up for what's not happening in the hands. That's how it's... Mirrors! Mirrors! You are here turning lives up. Oh, oops, crap. Turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. told you this one doesn't have a pedal the one out there has a pedal <laughs> I'm two chords away from being a minister of music that's hilarious Hi, Mike. How you doing, bro? Thank you. I might as well quit. <laughs> All right, so somebody must have said something and I missed it. It's going to take me forever to be able to do runs like that. You sound like you... <laughs> okay, somebody said... I should do a collab with Tristan par Parades, Parades. I don't know who that is. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, maybe it is after all. At least it was Beyonce vocal coach. She would have had album of the year. <laughs> that was amazing on the piano. You don't need, oh, gosh. My, it was all right. Let's see. I think it's because it's two different vocal philosophies and they can compare. I would love to talk to whoever wants to talk to me. Do you just sing all day? No. What do you think about people saying Avery does too many runs? Avery Wilson? I think he's great. I do think he does the same run a lot. Um, and I do think it's, a, I mean, I, who am I? I have one opinion, right? I'm one person with one opinion. And we all have our own opinions. I think he's great. I think he's dope. Um, I don't know. I think it's one thing to show your vocal chops, but I think it's another thing if you're going to like put that on a record. I think it has to make sense for a record. You know what I mean? That's what I think. Never heard of Something Beautiful by Tori Kelly. Hi, Mike.
Monica Naranjo, no, I don't. I don't know Carvina Jones at all. Oh, thank you. My runs never sound overdone. I appreciate that. Jay Nova, I do know Jay Nova. I think she's amazing. She's a, she's like almost almost like a virtuoso. She's amazing. Sing Whitney, you guys are taking me way out of my comfort zone. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. This is not going to be good. You guys are going to embarrass me. Okay. Me, 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 me. Let me get some water. What time is it, by the way? I do have another session. Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. She was, you gotta remember, she was smoking and she was on drugs, so she couldn't, her voice was burning out, so she had to lower the keys. <laughs> it's not gonna be good, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Yeah, I have to listen to Avery's and... Once every six months. That's so funny. Where are you? I feel like you're probably, I'm in, I'm out just outside of Atlanta. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to pick a low song. Okay, let's try. I'm warming up. <laughs> okay. Oh, I believe in you and me is very hard. Um, uh, why does it hurt so bad? Why do I feel so sad? Thought I was over you, but I keep crying when I don't love you. So why does it hurt so bad? Baby, I thought I had let you go, so why does it hurt me so? Got it. Get you out of my head. It hurt so bad. Yeah, it did. Sure, it did. Say you hurt me so, so. My life's been better since the day I left you, boy. I must admit, life's been kind to me. I went and did the things I said I would do, boy. I found someone who'd love me for me. Yeah. Haven't had much drama since the day that we split, boy. My heart's never been more at ease. And when I think of all the Things you put me through, leaving you has been the best thing for me. So why does it hurt so bad? Why do I feel so sad? I thought I was over you, but I keep crying when I don't love you. So why does it hurt so bad? Baby, I thought I had let you go, so why does it hurt me so? Gotta get you out of my head. It hurts me so bad. Okay, I'm done. I don't think, I don't think I do anything different from Deborah Cox. 
I'm glad I didn't go to the club. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Oh, you guys are so, you guys are so sweet. Uh, he fills me up as a big song. Mm. He fills me up. He gives me love. More love than I've ever seen. He's all I've got. I can't remember how it starts. Thank you. Evergreen is hard. You guys are bugging. Thank you, boy with a glass heart. I appreciate that. I have written some songs. Uh, I can try, but that's a hard one. I'm serious. You guys are going to make me crack on live. I used to cry myself to sleep at night, but that was all before he came. I thought love had to hurt to turn out right, but now he's here. I suck. Uh -huh. I thought love had to hurt to turn out right, but now he's here. It's not the same. It's not the same. Ah. I don't want to. I'm scared. He fills me up. He gives me love. More love than I've ever seen. He's all I've got. I, I can't flip into head voice as quick as she does. More love than I've ever seen. He's all I've got. He's all I've got in this world. But he's all the man that I need. Okay. Thank you. He fills me up. He gives me love. Who do you think you are? <laughs> you guys are so sweet. <laughs> it deserves a cookie. Yeah. I want to belt like the <laughs> Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. No, I did a couple lessons this morning. So, you know, you're talking and you're kind of going back and forth singing and stuff like that. So that wasn't just after like a 10 minute warm up. No. Sing live with someone in the room. What does that mean? I swear to goodness, you do that one more again with your head. You know, it's funny you say that because I am putting something out very soon. Something out very soon. I just need to get it mixed and mastered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the high parts, I mean, I would technically call it a pure chest. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely placed here, which is why people call it a mixed belt, but it's the same darn thing. It's gospel. This what I'm going to put out is, is gospel. Um, 
Yes, Whitney songs are hard because you have to have mastered your mixed voice, have high endurance, and be able to sing aggressively for long passages. Exactly. And if it doesn't start high, it's going to modulate. Some of them request that you go live with them and sing. Who? Swear to goodness. You <laughs> Tells me up. Woo! Sorry, this is big. Sorry. I'll just put you here. Duh. Oops. Didn't we almost have it all? I had to go in a minute. Sorry, I accidentally hung up. Um, Whitney, um, Whitney is an advanced technique. Like, I'm sorry, yodeling is an advanced technique. I can't do that. You, 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 I can't do it. I, I can't. Can't do it because it's like a flip. It's like a flip. I don't know "Forever" by Jason Nelson, to be honest. Yeah, I can't yodel for crap. Ah, Is that it? I don't know. And I still have my phone when I was <laughs> uh, let's see. Um you give good love. You give good love to me. Babe. So good. Take this heart of mine into your hands. Keenan, answer the door. You. Ooh, that's high. I found out. Oh, did someone just give me a tip? How sweet of you. Somebody just sent me $5. How cool. You love. Thank you. Yes. Many, I told you, somebody on here just said, I love your hair. It reminds me of many years ago. Reminds me of years ago when we first met. Exactly. I got my dreads back and I'm very happy about it. Okay. I found out. I found out. Ugh, that's ugly. See? I found out what I I've been looking for someone. Oh gosh, and then it goes up. Oh God. Ah! Yes. Yeah. Now you're, now you're here like you've been. I can't do that. Before and you know just what I need. I can't do that. I'm singing in a key that's entirely too high for me. How sweet. I don't really know how people are um, making donations. I have no idea. I don't know what you press. Um, yeah, I have no idea. But I think that's very sweet of you guys. Dang, I was spot on. 
Can I do a churchy growl? It's only on YouTube. YouTube allows you to send money to somebody that's doing a live chat. Um, yeah, apparently somebody just said, hit the dollar sign in your chat queue. So I guess where it's the, there's a chat, there's like a dollar sign and people can click on that and send money, which is pretty cool. What a dramatic entrance. <laughs> Yeah, that all that loud singing. So that's what I'm saying. I love Whitney. She's like my muse, but I know I can't do everything that she does. But find people. I I found it. Just press the button. It said the future was unavailable for my era. I'm in Bahrain, so the country has so many restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive me, but is Bahrain the Middle East? Uh, what I think of Amarie, I haven't heard her lately. Um, her voice is just kind of small to me. Like, I never really heard her sing sing. I don't think. But anyway, this was lovely. I have a session now. It's 1 o'clock Eastern time. So I definitely have a, a lesson now. But it was such a pleasure to be here with you guys. I just want to say thank you. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yes. Well, I'm assuming you're over there serving our country. So thank you for serving. Ah, you're most welcome. Your first live chat? Oh, this was one for the books, babe. All right. God bless. God bless. Have a great and safe Memorial Weekend. A great, safe, and sober Memorial Weekend. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Bye. You guys are so sweet. <laughs>